when the first word and the second word uh, refer to the same person or the same object and then we can say that the verb is complete is a complete transit is a complete transitive verb right because the two words that stand right after the verb uh, ha uh, have got the same identity the same identity me is a partner her partner is me you see the same the same the same person right good so the first one is complete transitive okay second linda sent me a letter how many words comes after the verb send uh, yeah there are two words as well me and a letter but this time think me and a letter the two words refer to to the same identity no me is a person whereas a letter is an object right an object that i will receive that me will receive right good so uh, in this case we know we see we know that it is not the same pattern as in the previous example and of course because send is not a complete transitive verb uh, it cannot have the same pattern as in the previous sentence uh, send is our d d is a, a detransitive verb all right uh, me is one object and a letter is a, uh, the other up is the other object in the sentence we have two different objects right send is uh, a detransitive verb David think everyone stupid. All right, so think everyone and stupid. Who is stupid? Everyone. Who is everyone? Stupid. So everyone and stupid are two different words, but the two different words refer to to the same per, refer to the same person or the same identity, right? So in this case, thing cannot be a detransitive verb. Thing must be a complete transitive, complete transitive. David offer her a chance. Her and a chance same identity or different identity different right yes different so uh, when different identity uh, like that so the verb must be a detransitive verb right detransitive verb he voted me the manager me and the manager same identity or different identity same same person right same person same identity so vote must be a complex transitive verb he brought me a sandwich me and a sandwich same identity or different identity differ different me is a person a sandwich is a food right so cannot be the same so in this case broad must be a detransitive broad can must be a detransitive verb all right i elected john the president john is the president and the president is john the same identity the same person right good therefore elected must be a complete transi transitive I teach student grammar, student and grammar. Student refer to people, to humans, and grammar is just, just some knowledge, right? Just knowledge. So student and grammar do not refer to the same identity or the same object or person. And therefore teach cannot be a complex transitive. Teach must be a detransitive verb. Of course, teach is a detransitive verb. Student is uh, the first object and grammar is the second object. <laughs> she makes me sad who is sad me who is me sad right so me and sad refer to the same person the same identity therefore make must be a complex transi complex transitive right? do you understand the difference between a complex transitive verb and a detransitive verb now okay good i hope you do okay good now we can move on wow this is not the end we still have one more types of verb to study all right so what is the fifth types of verb uh, in English? All right, good. Now let's see. Ah, intransitive verb, all right? Is it another kinds of transitive verb? No, it is not another kinds of transitive verb because it is an intransitive verb. And I think I explained to you uh, I, uh, in the previous slide the meaning of a, the word transitive. Transitive mean require objects, but intransitive mean require no objects, right? So intransitive verbs are verbs that need no objects. Why do they not need objects? Because they can have full meaning by themselves already. For verbs that need objects are verbs that cannot have full meaning by themselves. They must have objects in order that they can have full meaning. But for intransitive verbs, they are verbs that can have full meaning by themselves. 
they do not need any object because they can have full meaning by themselves already. Okay. So what are some examples of a uh, intransitive verbs in English language? Okay. Let's see. Here are some examples for you. Run, walk, sleep, swim, sit, go, come, stay, fly, cough, stand, jump, fall, dance, float, float. So many verbs. Run. Think about run. Okay. Now let's see the example. Ah, the formula. Wow, we do not see any complement used. We in a sentence in sentences using intransitive verb. We have only two elements in the sentence, uh, which which is a, the subject and and the intran, uh, intransitive verb. Right after the intransitive verb, we have not nothing. All right, good. Now let's see the example. Linda goes, goes. How can you perform the actions of go in order to be able to go? We just need to go, go. You see, go, and we can go, right? Linda goes makes sense, and this is a sentence, all right? A grammatically correct sentence. No one can can say that you are wrong when you write this as a sentence, all right? Good. They will swim. In order to swim, you see, we just need the subject and then the action. Swim. You see, swim, and then. It, it possible to swim. He falls. Got dual. In order to be able to fall, just fall. You need nothing, right? Nothing else. You just fall. Ở trong đuối, thời gian mà được là thời hay dual. Thời gian mình chạm bài bị chạm là đôi chỉ bị nhầm. Bỏ để nhầm nhầm mặt cá đi. Tại bởi dual, bài thời gian ấy dual là, thấy nhé? À, chẳng kể ra xong, chẳng vì anh mình thời gian cá mà bỏ đi, thấy nhé? Chẳng vì anh mình này bàn để khôn biến đấy. Okay, chẳng kể ra sao bạn nói cái hạt intransitive, intransitive. I float trong đại, we come trong một, she walks niệm đà và chẳng đá đá tới, cái nhé, riêng còn đá tới bà chẳng biết ấy thì. He jump quạt lót, they stay put quạt nặn nở, I cough trong có, they will stand quạt chó, they dance put kéo rắm, sau đó ở trên cao cao một bọt từng ở, ok, ở trên cao cao một bọt thì. It explodes. We map to lang at the car come about it. Ah, me and the kids are so cool, cool, nice, nice. Ah, con, just on it. These all of these are examples of intransitive verb used in creating sentences in English, right? Good. Wow. Stop and stop and check. Stop and check. Stop and check. Linking mono transitive, de transitive, complex transitive, or intransitive verb. So, in this stop and check. You will be tested with all different types of verb using in sentence construction. All right, in sentence construction. So up to this point, let me give you a brief summary first before uh, you you start doing this exercise. Okay. So there's so many different verb types in sentence construction. The first types that we we have just studied uh, is known as a linking verb, and the second one is monotransitive. Uh, the third one is called the transitive. The fourth one is the complex transitive, and the fifth one, the the one that we have just done now, is the intransitive. Intransitive verb linking doesn't need any object because linking verbs are, are also called non-action verbs. They have no action. They can take no objects. They take only complement. We call those complement as subject complement. Monotransitive verbs are verbs that require just one object. Without one object, those verbs cannot have full meaning. In order to make it have full meaning, we need to give give those verbs one object. Okay, one object. The transitive verb are verbs that need up to two different objects in order to have full meaning. If you give it just one object, and then the verb might not have full meaning. Okay, so to have full meaning, the uh, transitive verb must have two different ob objects. Complex transitive verb are verbs that can have full meaning by having just one object and one object complete. Complement. Remember that. So the two the two different words that stand right after the verb, uh, they are two different words, but they they always refer to the same identity, the same person or the same object. Okay. So. Uh, when you see that happens, the verb in the sentence must be a complex transitive verb. And the final types of verb that we have just uh, studied is called intransitive verb. Intransitive verb are verbs that need no objects. What does it mean? 
It simply means those verbs can have full meaning by themselves. They need no objects. Okay? They do not have to, to have objects uh, after it in order to have full meaning because they can have full meaning by themselves already. Okay? Good. So those verbs are called uh, intransitive verbs. And now you can start working on the stop and check here. We have so many different verbs uh, for your practice and try to identify each of these verbs carefully. Okay? I give you a few minutes to work on it. Okay, let's go. chất ở mặt đỏ vậy vậy làm làm của màn này mà màu này ok check it out you need some more time ok just a few more minutes then Okay, now let's check it out. Go. Is it a linking, mono, detrend, complex, or intransitive? Go, who knows? Go can be a linking, right? For example, like she go crazy, he go crazy. And at the same time, go can also be a link, uh, an intransitive verb, such as in the example, I go, I go to school, I go, okay? intransitive verb all right so uh, go can have a uh, multiple functions uh, linking verb and intransitive verb what about swim swim uh, yes of course is it a linking verb no it's not it is a, a trend um, an action verb but uh, it doesn't need an object no it doesn't so if it doesn't need an object it must be an intransitive verb right just one function teach all right teach uh, can be can have multiple function as well just like go but what kinds of functions can it can it play uh, teach uh, it, can it be a mono transitive yes of course for it so just an example I teach English so I teach English so there is only one object standing right after teach so teach there is a uh, mono transitive but in the example uh, like this I teach students grammar so I teach student grammar. Student and grammar are two different identity. So teach there is a detransitive verb. So teach can be a monotransitive and can be a detransitive. So either one is possible for, for teach. Mono and the detrans. What about nominate? Tain tang. Nominate tain tang is a complex transi sense transitive. Alright, complex transitive. Only one function make wow make can have so many different function uh, for example i make a cake right this is a mono transitive function i make you a cake it's also possible and in this example is a detransitive i make you sad uh, sad and you are the same identity and in an example make is a complex transitive wow make can have many many functions so it can be Mono transitive, it can be detransitive, and it can also be a complex transitive. Uh, there, there is an error here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it is fine now. Send. 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 I send you a letter. Send is a detransitive verb. Usually, send requires two different objects to have full meaning. It's a detransitive verb. What about give? Okay, I give you a flower. Yeah, detransitive verb as well. Tell. I, te I told a story. I told you a story. Okay, told, 
tell is also a detransitive verb. Show, show me the meaning. Okay, show me the, show me your homework, for example. Detransitive as well. Okay. Fall. Okay, fall. Intransi, intransitive. Feel, I feel happy. Linking verb. Swim already. Okay, second time. Repeat. Intransitive verb. Watch. I watch TV. Uh, mono transitive. Buy, buy, buy a car, buy you a car are possible. The two, the two cases are possible. So, so um, buy can have uh, two different functions: mono and the the trend. Offer. I offer you a cake. Okay. The transitive verb. Write. I wrote a letter. I wrote you a letter. Are two possible. Uh, are two possible functions for write. So write can have two different functions, mono and the, the trend. Come. Come is an intransitive verb, only one function. Fly. Fly can have two different functions, intran and entran. Uh, intransitive verb and mono transitive. Yeah, exactly. For example, like um, I fly, I fly a kite. Chum bong hoa klai. Bọ bọ tạp bong hoa. I fly a kite. Chẳng ngàn năng vi kê chìa Kể sắp tới các cái bọn mono transitive các nhé. But if we say the bird is flying, the bird fly, chạp hà rồi có hò, chẳng phải năng cứ vì cái chữ intransitive verb mình, nhé. Chẳng vì admin function p. Choose can be a mono transitive. I choose a, I choose a gift, okay? Or I choose you my friends, okay? Admin function p chỉ mono phong, nhưng chỉ complete phong. Elect is a complete transitive. Read read is a mono transitive. Uh, and it ends there as well. We can say we can say read a book or read you a book, read a letter or read you a letter. So read can have two different functions: mono transitive or the transi detransitive. See mono speak mono do can be mono transitive and and detransitive. Okay, uh, do me a favor, for example. Uh, do homework is a mono transitive verb example. Or do do me a favor, uh, uh, detransitive verb example. Bring, detransitive verb. Bring me some water. Appear linking verb. Appear calm. Appear angry. Remain is also a linking verb. Remain calm. All right. So here are all the answer to this stop and check. And I hope you guys. Uh, understand everything that I have explained so far about different types of verbs and how each of these verbs are used in constructing uh, sentences in English language. All right. So what is next? This is a summary of today's lesson. What is a sentence? A sentence, uh, if we are talking about its definition, it refers to a combination of words or a groups of words or a collection of words, which consists of uh, at least a, a subject a verb and a complete thought right good a complete thought and a and a when we are talking about its formula uh, uh, it will be like this subject sentence equal to subject plus a uh, verb plus complement all right optional all right so the summary sentence equal to subject plus verb plus complement and sentence structure number one subject plus linking verb plus noun and adjective this is the first sentence structure all right so uh, if when we use linking verb as the main verb in our sentence and then what can comes after our linking verb must be a noun or an adject adjective they are also called subject complement for sentence structure number two subject plus monotransitive verb uh, and uh, after the monotransitive verb it must be an object it must be a noun a noun object okay noun object which means noun that receive uh, the actions of the main verb of the monotransitive verb. Uh, structure three uh, is the sentence which is written with the detransitive verb, uh, verb that require two different objects after it. So indirect object must always come first, and then direct object must always come second. All right. So when you use detransitive verb in your sentence, and then you must remember that you need to find two different objects for it, so that it can have full meaning. Structure number four is the sentence which is written using complete transitive verb. When you use complete transitive verb, there are two different words 
that must come together after the complex transitive verb as well, such as in the case of the transitive verb. However, the two different words in complex transitive case, they refer to different identity. For example, oh sorry, in the complex transitive case, they refer to the same identity. For example, I choose you, my friend. Who is you? My friend. Who is my friend? It's you. You see? So in complex transitive case or when you use complex transitive verb, the two different words that stand right after the complex transitive verb refer to the same identity. But in, uh, in the case of the transitive verb, the two different words that comes after the the transitive verb, they refer to different identity. Usually, uh, a human and an object. Okay, So they cannot be the same uh, identity. Finally, in sentence structure number five, uh, we have got intransitive verbs. So um, when we use intransitive verb in our sentence, our sentence can, can, can finish with a period sign at the end immediately right after the intransitive verb because this, this kind of verb doesn't require any objects or any other words after it. It can have full meaning by itself or we can simply say they can make sense by themselves. Okay, good. So simply put, they, these are the five structures of simple sentences in English lang language. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And if you have got questions regarding any points in this lesson, please drop your question in the university assigned uh, uh, social media group and I will go there to find your question and answer as soon as possible, okay? I hope you guys like this lesson and thank you so much and see you later. Bye-bye.